was literally the last, the last uh, kind of minute of the game, really, where he landed awkwardly. Um, and he stayed down, and it's not like Callum, he usually gets up straight away. So I went onto the pitch, had a chat with him, he said my knee doesn't feel too good. He could move it, he could bend it, but from looking at his face, I knew, I knew that he'd, he'd hurt himself. He, he was truthful, and a lot of players kind of know that when they've hurt themselves, they, I felt that given what he said to me, I, I knew that he, he, was, he was struggling. With a scan, it confirmed um, our suspicions, but um, he'd actually kind of had a bit of a lucky escape. He'd injured a couple of ligaments. Uh, it wasn't as severe as it could have been. Um, so um, it, it was a significant injury, but it, it could have been worse. I knew I'd done something bad because, like, when I jumped, I like, heard it like pop, and I tried to go up and run, and I just knew then, like, oh, I couldn't run. Vic had the ball. I was told to like kick it to me, and he's kicked it. And as it's gone in the air, I've jumped up to try to win a header, and as I've landed, like, my legs like overextended like that and it's just like torn ligament. He was in Hong Kong and like Polly checked like my main ligament like the ACL and he said that was all right and then the day after I got back I had a scan and then I found out like three days after that so it was like a week overall of just not knowing. Every player is different um, so we, we saw a consultant just to get his opinion um, and it was agreed that he'd stay in a knee brace for the first four weeks um, of the rehab process. We've got to really focus on that knee healing. Um, we, we can kind of maintain his muscle mass. Um, we, we can do some light activity. So that first four weeks for him was, was probably the hardest because like I said, he, he was inactive really and it, it, his um, exercises were only quite light and quite basic. But from there, when he came out the brace, he'd been built up kind of a, a week by week process really. He's moved through the phases from that kind of acute tissue healing phase into the kind of gym based function and he's come through that into the outdoor based activity where he's, he's at the end of now. If someone's out for 12 weeks we have to be very careful with their, their grass based loading when they get back to that point. We've got to build them up gradually, we don't want any soft tissue injuries. So in, in that rehab time we've managed to focus on, on his other deficits, his, his weaknesses that we've identified previously. Try and really get him a little bit stronger generally and, and, and build him as a player. Pop your foot on there, yeah, get your hips tucked in. Again, we're going to work this adductor region. So, foot up there, hands across your chest, and get your, get your hips nice and high. Drive up and back down. Come a bit further forward for me. Yeah, perfect. Let's go again, good. Squeeze the glutes, get nice and high. Started him on the, um, the anti-gravity treadmill in the gym, the five, six week marker, and we built up his load on there, and then we began outside at about eight weeks. He's at a 12 week point now, so we've had kind of three to four weeks of, of progression of his load. He had a couple of weeks just with me out there, working, and me and Dan Lothian, the sports scientist, and he's been back in full training now for nearly, nearly two weeks. We had a break after Hong Kong, so uh, when we came back, he was um, back on his feet. He had his uh, mojo back, but he also knew there was a, a tough road ahead, but um, he's dealt with it really well. Hopefully this will be the only injury, well, kind of serious injury he gets during his career. He's one of those boys who's nine-year-old in his head, just wants to play football, he just wants a ball at his feet, just wants to play every day, wants to help out with the lads in every game, and um, you see that, you see his energy around the place. I think the manager enjoys that energy two months on from Hong Kong, he's now in a place where he can uh, now get on the pitch again and uh, get a ball at his feet and uh, you know, both us and the managers are looking forward to having him back. He's not been injured before um, and it's, it's a learning curve and mentally at the start I think it was a bit of a shock to him, like I said, he, he felt that he was hurt and he, he didn't really know how to deal with that. It, he was really good in listening to advice and he took that on board. I know his family helped him and I think he found it useful speaking to myself, Doc, Jazz and the people that were close to him here. And I think once he got through his mind that he was going to be out kind of a significant amount of time, he put his mind to getting better and he, he was very positive. Um, and everything I've done with him, he's, he's always given 100%. He's, he works hard um, and that's a credit to himself. It was tough to start with because I've never been injured before. I like just love football really, so what, like seeing the lads playing football, coming in, talking about training and me just being in here, just doing physio work. Started it was stressful, but then I just thought I've got to be positive and just get through it. I just want to just keep pushing on and just see what I can get really. Hopefully, try to break into the first team and just see what happens from there.